Hello my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about pregnancy products that I cannot live without. They've been a lifesaver. I'm 22 weeks today. I am, whoo, I guess three quarters of the way through my second trimester. It has been an incredible, blissful honeymoon phase that so many people told me would probably happen. And I feel so bad for people who did not experience the bliss of this, but it's been wonderful. However, I have some life-saving products that have been literally a game changer for me. So we're gonna talk about those. And if I need new products in the third trimester that are so different and life-changing and earth-shattering, I'll make a third trimester pregnancy products video. Let's start with these. So excited. So First things first, belly butters and lotions and creams and masks. I cannot live without them. I think I just found my first stretch mark, but I had on tight leggings and I took off my pants to take my 22 week pictures because I forgot my 20, no, I did not forget. I was too lazy to take my 21 week pictures last week and I'm trying my best to take pictures every week because I want to put them together in a montage for you guys and for Adam and even for me to look back on every week of my pregnancy and how my bump is growing and how I look different and all that fun stuff. So I took off my pants. I'm not sure if it's an actual stretch mark or if it's from the seam of the pants, but we'll find out. I guess tomorrow morning when I wake up. That said, I have been so religious and diligent about my tummy butters. The one that I am loving right now was sent to me by Element Mom. They sent me these belly masks, which are incredible. So I had this idea for a video that I was gonna do with Adam and I was gonna save one of these. I was going to have him test pregnancy products on me. If I was like, here's a pregnancy mask, what do I do with it? And then bring out all of my products and have him figure out what to do with them. Kind of like my boyfriend does my makeup, my boyfriend tests my products types of a thing. But the problem is everything I have is for my tummy, like for my bump or it's supplements. So really he's too smart. He's gonna know. If you guys wanna see that or if you want me to actually do one of these masks on my belly with you, which I think I'm gonna do in a future video anyway, just let me know in the comments that these are a lifesaver. So you could either run it under warm water or cooler water. They already feel cold in there, which is gonna be fantastic for me as my bump grows throughout the summer in Las Vegas. You put the mask on your belly, you allow it to sit on there for 10 to 20 minutes and you just hang out, you watch TV, you do your thing, whatever you wanna do while this is on. And then you, when you take that off, you rub the remainder of that hydration into your belly and that's supposed to really help. So I'll probably wind up doing at least one of these a week. I have four of them and then probably get more. So awesome. They also sent me mega moisturizing stretch mark cream with a probiotic in there. So this is the favorite one that I'm using right now. It has a very faint, clean smell, which is good because I needed a little bit of a break from the cocoa butters. Cocoa chocolate smell is just starting to, it's starting to be a little bit too much for me. This just has a very, very faint, clean scent and it's really creamy and moisturizing. So I'm living for this one right now. I'm living for the belly masks. They are definitely part of my cannot live without routine. I use oils and all of that as well, but I'm not going to waste time in this video. I have my full skincare video, skincare on my face, but also on my belly during pregnancy, and I'll link it up there. We'll start with supplements. We have some clothing items and we have some actual pregnancy items. Let's start with supplements. The prenatal that I've been taking and loving thus far is Rainbow Light for moms over 35, mom and baby. It's a prenatal and a postnatal, which is awesome because I'll just continue taking it after baby is born. And the reason I like this one is because, first of all, it's vegetarian and I'm a vegetarian. And also it's gentle on your stomach. So it's not caused me constipation or any kind of nausea or anything. I take it after breakfast. I don't have to take it at night where a lot of people said they had to take it at night because they would feel nauseous after they took their prenatals. This one is easy going easy enough on my stomach that I don't have a problem taking it during the day. It is a horse pill. It's a horse pill, like all prenatals are, or I guess like all one a day vitamins are. I just drink water with it. It's not a big deal. I've never had a problem with swallowing pills. The next item I take is these prenatal regulatory support mommy's bliss. I don't take them all the time. I take them very infrequently right now because I want to save them for the third trimester when the constipation comes back, when baby's big enough that your bowels get all kind of screwed up. I found these after 
the constipation of the first trimester or they would have helped. But I took them a couple times during second trimester. They're really good. They're free from artificial flavors and colors, no gelatin, dairy, gluten, or soy, good source of fiber, and they're gummies and they taste really good. Three of them is a serving, so they're kind of like dessert at night. I take magnesium at night. Now I did take these during the constipation phase of first trimester. Sorry guys, but this is reality for pregnant women. I was struggling so bad. A mommy, a dear friend of mine who literally has been an angel on my shoulder. She just had her second baby a couple of weeks ago, but she told me that she just upped her magnesium a little bit throughout her pregnancies and it helped her tremendously. I've gotten a bottle at Walmart and a bottle at Costco. I don't remember which was which. That's what I've been using. I tried the Calm brand for a while and it was like raspberry lemon flavor and it made my heartburn ridiculous. So I just went back to the pill. This is a holy grail that I just added probably like 14 weeks in. I asked my doctor and also I'm on so many pregnancy apps, but one of the pregnancy apps, I saw some people make a post about this and there were all different people from all different areas that said that their doctors were fine with it too. Vital Proteins Collagen is really good for not only baby, but also for you, for your skin, for trying to avoid stretch marks and also cellulite and weight gain. This has been a holy grail, a lifesaver. This is an exception. It is made with cow, with bovine collagen. So it's the exception I made, the one and only exception I made. I still can't eat meat, but I'm not crying about it. I'm fine about it. She suggested getting the packets from Target just in case, for my first time when I was first trying it, just in case it didn't agree with my body or I just didn't like it or something. I couldn't find the packets, but I got a smaller container of this at Target. It worked great. I loved it. So then I found it at Costco and I was able to get the big jar. Look how much we've gone through. It's down to there already. So holy grail. I put it right in my coffee or my protein shake. You can't taste it whatsoever. It's flavorless. You guys already know I've talked about this on a few different videos already now. It's papaya and pineapple enzyme and it helps with heartburn and also with digestion issues. So pregnancy gas, pregnancy bloating, pregnancy constipation, all of that. This has been a lifesaver. They're natural, they're chewable as well, sugar-free. They've really been helping me. I probably need to get another bottle, but they're just little, they look like tabs, but you chew them. They taste good. I got them from Amazon and I put links to everything in the description box below. I think that's all I have for supplement type of stuff, but these have really been my holy grails thus far. Do you guys have suggestions on other things that I need? Just let me know. I guess along the same lines, this isn't a pregnancy product by any means, but I've been drinking a ton out of this water bottle. Chimpola Prince, my girl on Instagram, sent this to me. In fact, I think I wanna reach out to her for another one because this one says wifey, Mrs. Clausen. I want like a mom one because we're advancing to a new stage in life, but this has helped me. Four of these makes a gallon keeps the water cold or hot, depending on what you put in there. I changed the straw because I don't like plastic straws. So I just changed it to one of my stainless steel. Is that what these are? You know, one of these straws and it totally helps me get my water down. So we'll put that in there because drinking enough water is great for pregnancy overall to help with stretch marks, to help with even like delivery and all that stuff at the end. Can't say enough. Let's move on to clothing stuff. I have one pair of sweatpants left that fit me. My sister actually dropped these off at my house in the beginning of quarantine because they didn't fit her. And I very rarely wore them because they were too big on me and I had another pair that were fit me. Those are awful on me now. I put them on the other night and I had to take them right off because they hurt. These are the Airy Joggers. I'll pop a picture of me wearing them there. I made a funny picture about who wore it better. I wore all khaki and I took a picture of when Adam was in prison wearing all khaki. And my sister <laughs> sent me an email. And, I mean, she sent me a text and she was like, oh my God, he wasn't offended by that. I'm like, no, we laugh at life. Like it's a joke. But these are so big and comfy and they stretch out and you could either pull them over the bump or you can fold them under the bump depending on how you're feeling, if you like your bump supported or not. I actually love my bump feeling supported and wearing kind of tighter leggings. But when I wear these, I prefer them under the bump. Otherwise, I just think they look really funny. Not that I'm going out in them, but super comfortable. I'm gonna get them in another, a couple another color, couple another. <laughs> I'm gonna get them in another couple of colors, a couple more colors. There you go. I am a thong girl at heart. 
I have so much trouble wearing full back underwear because I just feel like there's too much fabric. I work out all the time. I'm not into underwear lines or anything like that. So if I'm gonna wear a flowier dress in the summer where the wind can blow, I'll wear boy shorts. But if I'm wearing any kind of a pant, leggings, jeans, anything like that, I always opt for a thong. I find them to be more comfortable, to be honest with you. I really got into made in form sports thongs because they're wicking, they're breathable, they're really stretchy and roomy. They're seamless and they're just the most comfortable underwear I've ever worn. I've been wearing them for a few years. They come in like some pretty colors too. I got mine at Kohl's, but then I found them, recently found them on Amazon. So they're, they're cute. I went to Kohl's to find them in a bigger size because my belly was expanding, my hips were expanding and I couldn't find them. So one day I was in Walmart and I found these seamless Reebok workout underwear. I got them in a size large. I was still probably a size medium, medium at that point, but there's something about these that honestly, they ride up so bad, I believe they were dating my kidneys. They might have met my baby before me, I'm telling you. The most uncomfortable things I've ever worn in my life. I should probably donate them. Can you donate underwear? I don't even know that I've worn all of them. They came in a pack of three or five or something like that. Maybe after baby when I lose weight again, I'm not sure, but they don't work well for me. So I went back and I looked at Kohl's again. They didn't have them. I found these on Amazon. I have a lot in this color because they're $5.99 on Amazon and then different colors cost more all the way up to $12.99 for one pair. I'm like, they're underwear. No one's seeing them except for me and Adam. Who cares? These are super comfortable. I think these are a large. These are an eight. They're an extra large. I have large and I have extra larges. The extra larges kind of fall down a little not even that they fall down, but they're a little bit too big. So hopefully these will last me throughout the whole pregnancy and a little bit after when I'm still taking off weight. Fantastic. If you're not pregnant, I suggest them because they're the only thong that I can work out in and feel like they don't really move and they wick and they don't bother me. Next up is sports bras. The only real bra that I still wear, I can still fit in it, my regular bra, because it was a little bit big on me before I got pregnant, so now I just kind of filled into it. Or, let me get it. Okay, so unless I was going to an event or I needed a strapless bra, I stopped wearing wires in my bras years ago. It worked out because I had to wear wire-free bras to visit when I went to go see Adam, but then when my mom got breast cancer and I'm so high risk, I decided I would make the switch back then. And I found the best bras, they push you up, they make your girls look great, were the Victoria's Secret Pink. There's like a decent amount of panning in there. They're the wire-free push-up bra. This thing is incredible. I have it in so many different colors and I love it. I wore before pregnancy a 34D and it would always go on the tightest notch. I was a small D, so there was plenty of room in here. Now I'm probably like the upper end of a 34, closer to a 36, still a D, just really, really filling this in. Pregnancy. I wear these if I have something to do, if I wanna look, look a little bit nicer. Otherwise, like 90% of the time I'm in sports bras. My favorite of all all time fitness chick sports bras are Old Navy. I don't get down with spending a hundred dollars on leggings, sports bras, all of that stuff. I work out so much. I go through them so frequently. To me, it's a waste of money. I don't think I ever would spend that much money on a pair of leggings or sports bras unless they were like earth shattering, life changing. And I've never found them to be like that. I've always just worn Old Navy sports bras. They are cute. The medium support is plenty of coverage to do jumping, to do jogging. When you're getting your period and you're sore, when you're pregnant and you're sore, thank God they're not sore after first trimester right now. What I did when I first got pregnant was, you know, in the initial phase when your boobs are still growing, these were starting to feel tight. And I went out and I just bought them in a large. But what I didn't realize was the rib cage was still too big at that point. So it was like this weird phase till about this week, the medium would just get tighter and tighter and tighter, but the large was still too big for me because my bump and my ribs, you know your ribs expand when you're pregnant, so that didn't happen yet. Just this past week, I started fitting into the large sports bras and I went out with Adam and we got a couple of more. I love the way this one fits, by the way, you guys. It's got adjustable straps. I think it's gonna be great for breastfeeding, but the way that it pushes up and it hugs the girls, it makes you look like you're wearing a nice, like regular-ish bra. If you wait and you find a sale at Old Navy, you could get these for a couple of dollars. I was desperate because I was at the point where working out in a medium actually was cutting and chafing my back. One night we were doing some sort of like a pull like this with dumbbells and all under here and my back 
all have like rug burn from that bra being so tight and then I was getting like a back fat situation. If you look in my baby food challenge video with Adam, you'll see like, you could see how tight it is. I actually have a back fat roll. Today I am wearing a Old Navy large and we're great. No back fat, nothing's hurting me. It feels good. I feel very, very supportive but not smushed. The leggings that I live in 99.9% .9 of the time, I just found at Costco, believe it or not. Again, I do not subscribe to the $100 leggings brands. Most of them are coming out of China anyway, and people are just slapping their brand name on it and turning around and selling them for $100, $150, even $80. I try not to pay more than 20. And I, for many years, was wearing the New Balance ones. They sell them for around 40, but when you get them at the outlets, usually you can get them for 20 or two for 20 sometimes. We went to the outlets three separate times out here and New Balance does not have the pair that I like. I'm very particular. I don't want seams on the legs, the knees, the calves, anything like that, because as I swell, that's just gonna cause pain and maybe even cuts and scarring. Not about it. Just so happened to be walking through Costco one day and I found these. They're the Tough brand, Tough Athletics. I think they're either $14 or $16. So years ago I bought these because I always try different leggings. I, I'm a workout freak and I like leggings that hug you in and they don't fall down when you're jumping and running. I didn't love them back then. I thought they were too thick. I thought they were like a little bit too loose. The mediums were loose in some spots, but when I got pregnant, and I started to grow, I actually needed that thicker fabric. They are a little bit warm, but as I was wearing my New Balance ones and gaining more and more, and they were stretching more and more, they just got more and more see-through. And Adam told me that one time, I told you guys this story when I was trying on maternity clothes for the first time without a bump video that I would post up there, that he was so embarrassed to tell me. And I was like, you let me go through a whole workout, but he never told me since. He never mentioned it since. I've been wearing them all since. And the other day I ran into the bathroom before the gym and I bent over and I almost fell over at how see-through. All of these underwear that I just showed you have come in really cute patterns. You can see that right through my pants. So we went right to Costco, bought these. These are gonna work with me for a while. And I also like that they're high-waisted. I'm wearing them right now, actually. They're high-waisted, they hold my bump in, they make me feel supported. I'll even wear these when we go out and I'll just wear a nicer shirt tucked in. I wore them in my video where I had a shawl wrapped around me for my anatomy scan. Because the pregnancy leggings that I showed you guys that have that little kind of cutout for the belly, I don't think they're meant to wear with shirts tucked in because they it looks funny and it actually now it's starting to hurt me. It feels funny. These are better. They, they're not maternity. They're just a bigger size. They stretch more. Great find. Love them. Even if you're not pregnant. I have a pair at home that are a gray camo. They're really cute too. Another thing, clothing wise, when I'm not wearing leggings, I've been living for dresses that are a little bit tighter and show off my bump. Dresses that are a little looser, I was wearing for a while, but now that my bump's bigger, I just feel like I look like a house. Like I just feel like there's too much fabric. It makes me really self-conscious. But if I wear form-fitting dresses, they show off my physique, but they also, you could tell visibly that I'm pregnant, that I have a cute little bump and it outlines it. For some reason, it makes me feel less self-conscious. So I picked up a few of these dresses. This one was $12 at Target. It's the cutest. I got it in a medium, so it's not gonna fit me through the summer. It's already tight from when I bought it, but they did not have a large. Hopefully when I go back, they will, but I'll wear it as long as I can because it's just, it's super cute and it shows the bump off. This one, it's still too big for me. It's maternity. I got it from Shein. I think it was $6. I just think that this is cute. I love that the straps are adjustable. I think this is gonna get me through the summer. It's got a little slit. I feel like you could dress it up with a nicer pair of shoes. You could wear it with sneakers. You could wear it with sandals. You could do a lot with this dress. And then you guys have seen this a few times. I got this kind of when my bump just started growing and I've worn this dressed up with boots. I've worn this with sneakers. It's a little thicker. I'm not gonna get too much more use out of it in Las Vegas, but I'm loving it. I'm really trying not to wear too much maternity and wearing regular clothes that are just have stretch in them like those dresses. So I can do a non-maternity pregnancy clothing haul. I've seen that go around YouTube and I think that's fun. Along with dresses though, as you get bigger, if you're anything like me, your thighs get bigger. My thighs, my hips grew way before my belly popped. So underneath these dresses to make it more comfortable, especially as it heats up here and I get bigger, I got these are maternity. I got these shorts from Amazon. I use the Vipon app. Have you guys ever heard of the Vipon app? Oh my God, I'm gonna link it below. So it's actually 
all discount codes for stuff that you get through Amazon. So you go, th you go to the Vipon app, you search for what you're looking for. If you find something you like, you click that discount code, you open it up in Amazon, put that in your cart, you add the discount code when you're checking out, and I got these for $6. I actually have two more pairs on the way. They hug the belly. These are what I was wearing in my nighttime routine video. I love them because they're high-waisted. They go around the belly. I wore them with, with like a larger t-shirt knotted up here, but I also wear them very frequently under dresses to avoid the chub rub. Okay, let's go to the pregnancy specific products that I can't live without. First and foremost, you guys already met my new boyfriend. His name is Christian Gray, the pregnancy pillow. This thing is life changing. So many of you guys commented in my nighttime routine video. I debuted this man <laughs> and Adam had his two cents about it, he hates him. In fact, last night I came to bed and I was getting ready to go <laughs> get into the pillow. Adam was already in bed, I was just finishing brushing my teeth and going to the bathroom and all that stuff. And I went to go shout out the light and I look over and Adam's like this. And I was like, why the bottom lip? That's what my dad used to call it, like why the pouty face? And I was like, you don't want me to get in Christian Grey. I named him Christian Grey because he's grey. And every husband hates Christian Grey and every middle-aged housewife loves him. And this is 50 Shades of the most comfortable thing I've ever experienced in my life. A couple of you guys thought I was naming my baby Christian Grey. No, I named my pillow Christian Grey because I'm weird like that. I'm quirky like that and I think it's funny. I was like, all right, I'm not gonna sleep with Christian Grey tonight, I'll sleep with you. <laughs> to Adam and I was cuddling with him and I woke up in the middle of the night gasping because I can't sleep without my head propped up anymore. I do sleep on my side, I don't sleep on my, I've never slept on my stomach, it's uncomfortable for me, but I don't sleep on my back. I try to sleep mostly on my left side now. I do sometimes roll over to my right in my sleep, but then once I wake up, I have to roll over to the left so I could breathe better. Anyway, I needed to get back on this pillow. I felt so bad because I just wanted to cuddle. I know he wanted to cuddle, but I literally couldn't breathe. So I was joking with him this morning when we both woke up, like, I'm so sorry, but we just have a few months left until we can cuddle again because I need to breathe. I need to let baby get hair and you know, I need to stay alive. Best thing ever. I got back into it and I snuggled. Oh, I just, I can't say enough good things about that pregnancy pillow. You don't even need to be pregnant. I'm probably going to use it after poor Adam, but after baby's born, people told me that they use theirs after pregnancy. They use theirs when they were single and they also use it to help breastfeed, which I didn't even think about, but I love that. Okay, last product, because this video is getting long and it's 3.44, I have to leave the house at four o'clock because I'm also filming my Adam's first job out of prison vlog today and he works like 25 minutes from the house. So we're doing that and then we're going to a boxing gym and then a CrossFit gym tonight. Don't ask. The last thing is I got this belly support band that people rave about in third trimester of pregnancy and then also postpartum to help you get your abs to kind of fuse back together and it helps with like the feeling of jiggly skin and it just helps everything. I wanted to try to start wearing it already but I bought it in a large because I figured that's the size I would need once my belly is big enough to, and heavy enough to need that support. It's still too big for me so I haven't used it yet but I'm assuming within the next couple of weeks, my belly really, really, really popped the past week. So I am pretty sure I'm gonna need this very soon. My belly's not heavy, thank God, yet, but it's coming. And then after pregnancy, this I got for $11. Again, using that Vipon app. You guys, I swear I get nothing from it. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I just thought about it because I use it. And this is a $20 band, still not expensive, but if you can get it for six or 11, why not? The only thing is don't clip the coupon and not use it because you can only use those coupons once on Vipon. Just a word to the wise. So you could see you could wear these in a few different ways. It's really always really hard for you guys to see things unless I turn the lighting off. I'm so excited I'm going back to New Jersey to get my real lights next week, but that's a story for a different time. So you could wear it when you have your belly and then after postpartum in different ways. There's different straps. Before we go, I'll show you guys my bump. This is a little man today. He was bigger in my clothes than he does without my clothes. There's little man. I love you guys. Let me know if you want me to show you a video using the belly masks 
I think that'll be fun. Maybe you guys can help me think of a way to get Adam involved, like figure out how to use the belly mask or I'm not sure. But if you think of anything, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It just helps me out so much on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the little circle on the screen or the red box below if you don't see that. Be part of the family. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.